being in my kitchen, cooking a great meal. My love for writing. Expressing thoughts and ideas that connect on a heart level. Sharing how I feed my body and how I feed my soul. I'm Marquita Moore, and this is how I cook today. We are exploring today. About 10 years ago, I saw this recipe on Chef Michael Chiarello's show, and I was fascinated because I said, how in the world did he infuse those noodles and make them so red and luscious and great looking? So today, I'm going to explore and try to make drunken spaghetti. Let's see how this is gonna go. It's interesting. You use some of this broccoli rob that it's really bitter and I, and I like broccolini a little better, but I'm gonna use broccoli rob. I'm going to stick with the recipe and cut these stalks off. I like trying something new, but it is also intimidating a bit because I'm doing this in real time and if I mess up, I mess up. If it turns out great, great. It's all good. We're gonna make some drunken spaghetti. You know what, I, did a, I do a similar uh, recipe like this, but I, um, my drunken is in soy sauce, so I make these soy noodles and I like let them steep in soy sauce and brown sugar and all this stuff. I have to make that one day too. All right, we got this chopped. I remember in Goodfellas, they did this with a razor blade. <laughs> I wish I had one. I always wanted to try that, right? Gary, we should have had a razor blade so I can just say, but we don't. Cooking makes me so happy, man. It just fills me with so much joy. It's like I become a different person. Like, it just puts me in a space. All right. This makes me so, I'm excited, very excited to do this. And I'm gonna put my little spin on it because I'm also going to um, add some lobster to this. Uh, with the broccoli rabe, which the, the recipe calls it rapini. And I'm going to add some lobster to this dish and uh, put a little twist on it. Because I was in the mood for, I had a taste for some lobster. So I'm about to add that on in here. All right, let's get this water boiling.
Okay, so I have a question. When good things happen, do you feel elated and happy and overjoyed? Or do you get suspicious? Like, wait a minute, when that other shoe gonna drop, what's about to happen bad? You know, <laughs> I, I, the other day I caught myself because I was having a day. I mean, I could go, whew, and daisies would appear. Things would happen and rainbows. I mean, I just felt like super connected to like everything good. And um, as I'm, it's almost like I got snapped out of that moment and I immediately started to say, wait, what's happening? What's going on? I started to feel sad and depressed and then I'm like, wait, I have no reason to feel like that. No reason to feel like that right now. So where is that coming from? I challenge that feeling and normally um, in the past, I would have just like rolled with it and said, yes, I'm sad. I felt good for like 10.5 seconds and now woe is me. Like just being so conditioned to feel bad that when I'm feeling good, it feels so foreign to me that I can't fully embrace those moments. And it, 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 it was strange, because it was like, no, you, you need to not be so happy. Things aren't happening the way. I'm like, no, they are. And I can feel good. And it's like I have to retrain myself to be in joy. You know, retrain myself to be okay with being happy. You know, when we're going through life and if you're on a path of, um, you know, tr transformation and awakening, there are there is a concentrated amount of time where you are toiling, in a sense of you're purging, you're 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 freeing yourself from the things that have bothered you, that have been um, heavy on your spirit, and those things have to come up you have to see them, right? They come up so you become aware of them so you can release them. And so there's a, a and it happens throughout, right? I'm not saying that it's just like for six months, you're gonna go through this bad process and then you're gonna feel free forever. That's not, not what I'm saying. But there is a point when you intentionally decide to change um, that you have to go through stuff right now you're going through things to see them so that they can be released versus constantly living in that dark place and dark situations right so you you're you're there's a there's a concentrated amount of time where things are happening that don't feel good and we get so used to feeling that then when we um, evolve out of that stage you may still feel com more comfortable uh, when the bad things are happening versus good things, right? The good things make you leery, suspicious. Um, and it's like you have to retrain yourself to be in joy, retrain yourself to be in happiness, like get more comfortable being in that space, right? Like even if bad things happen, be comfortable good things can still happen, right? Not just, it's not one or the other. And just changing the way you see life and allowing yourself to be happy. You know, you deserve good things to happen to you too. That was another level of me seeing where I didn't feel worthy. And that was deep. Cause I'm like, I've done a lot of work on myself. I've healed a lot of stuff, but I am still feeling like I'm not worthy enough to be in joy. And I'm so grateful I saw that. And I'm so grateful that I had the wherewithal to check myself and say, no, it's okay. It's okay to be happy right now. I'll fork for this, but it's a little small fork, but we don't get it anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. I see why I remember this recipe. 
because it is so good <laughs> it's divine it's like oh my gosh it's so good mm. Mm. that lobster took it to a whole another level mm. it's a must I will absolutely do this one again so good this is something that I wrote to leave you with until the next time. Who am I not to forgive someone when I am always forgiven by the loving divine energy of God? Let me release them from the trap of unforgiveness that keeps us both bound. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, be good to yourself, eat well, be well, and most importantly, love well.